everybody. Charles Macro jumping back in the fishing planet. What's going on, guys? I figured I'd jump in for a bit. Just stream for a minute. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna stay on too long right now. I wanted to get on the stream for a bit. See who was out here. I figured since I was going to be fishing anyway, I might as well jump on and, you know what I'm saying, anybody that want to jump in can participate. So, yeah, man, I'm here at uh, Weeping Willows Fishery. It's early morning right now. And um, what am I doing? I'm going after these carp, trying to get these carps. Let me show y'all. It's, it's early morning. It's 3 a.m. Um, I was on a little bit earlier, so shout out to everybody who was here earlier. Um, I know some guys might be, you know, maybe early, it may be late, but uh, shout out to everybody, all the elite fam who was here, who joined. Hope y'all doing well. Hey, what's up, Dom? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back. How goes it? How goes it? Yeah, I'm still here weeping willows. I hadn't left yet. I'm trying to go ahead and do the 30 days. Otherwise, I would I would be gone because, again, this is a boringish lake. Hey, what's up, Go? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Sleep. Nah, you ain't. You're not late. You're right on time. You're right on time. We just getting started. We just getting started. I'm going to reel these in. I think I'm going to go ahead to uh, the early morning just to brighten it on up. I was uh, fishing night, though, because it was at, like, a peak time. I'm trying to figure out the way these peak times that this lake works. It seems to have been doing some good activity at this time. And I'm thinking that when it has this type of curve, I also had pretty good uh, productivity. So I'm thinking maybe that's it. Earlier, we weren't getting a lot of activity, but I think it was this type of curve. They do better, like, midday. So, yeah, just, just trying to figure that out. Figure it out if it's a real difference. So, yeah, man. Hope everybody's doing well, though. Peace and blessings. Fiber, what's going on? What up, what up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. You know what? I'm going to cash these out real quick. We'll do one more while it's night just to see if we get some good activity. I'll throw my other ride out. See if we get any hits. Yeah, man. How y'all doing? How's your day been? Sleep say you need 10 more glyphs for your ship. Nice. Nice. Say so you're going to get the living ship. You know what? When they drop that update on uh, No Man's sky i saw that i looked i looked it up um i looked at you know what the new things was with the update i know it wasn't the last update because they've had a few updates but whatever that update that was that brought that living ship in i do remember looking at it and maybe watching like their little press release video it looked pretty cool it looked pretty cool uh <laughs> sa in the house hey <laughs> that's what's up yeah man how things been uh-oh you know, a little activity. How things been in the SA? What's been going on? I'm going to see if I can catch anything with this uh, worm. This might be too deep. There was a book. What? Y'all had a thread at school? Man, that's crazy. Um, it's been it's been wild even around here where I'm at, man. My people's um is a are teachers, a teacher. I got fam who uh work in the school system, counselors and all of that. Even here where I'm at, it's been all kind of stuff going on. Fights, they was locking down. My hometown is about an hour away from from where I live. And even back there, they was locking down schools cause of um Cause people were shooting and things of that nature, man. So it's it's been real wild in the in the schools and generals right now, man. We got to keep everybody in prayer. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's three in the morning. Oh man. Hey, what's up, Jonathan? What's going on? What's going on? Yo, appreciate you uh hanging out, Fiber. 
Because it is quite late where you at. All right, come on. And that's the other thing about these cart, man. They tease us, man. They'll sit there and tease the line, have it beeping. They just take it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, man. But glad you uh glad you hanging out. Glad you're hanging out. I won't keep you up too long, man. <laughs> won't keep you up too long. Uh hold on. I gotta get my water. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, man. Any of y'all football fans? Any of y'all watching the game? Well, depending on where you at, I don't know what the time is. Oh, okay. Jonathan. Yeah, well, at least that's it. You know, everybody dealing with that. You ain't dealing with none of the craziness that's going on. Brandon. Brock, what up, Brock? What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. What is it, about 6 o'clock in the morning? Where you at? About 5. Hey, what's up, Brandon? I have not found a hybrid carp spots. I actually need to get that uh, that hybrid carp uni so I can um so I can go after the monster fish here. I hadn't got, I've got unis with most of them. Hold on, let's look real quick. But I have not got that uni. Let's see, Weeping Willow. Yeah, the only one I need is a unique mirror carp. I thought I had a unique mirror. I done caught unis of all the other ones. Man, I caught a unique mirror carp, I thought, and a uni hybrid. I ain't sure where that one is. I think it's smaller, so you you got to use a different type of bait. Uh, all good. Just stay for about 15 minutes and rewatch later. Hey, that's cool. Look, hey, I appreciate it, man. It's all good. Yeah, hang out long as you can, and then, you know, you got to tap out. I understand, man. I'll see you later. Let's see. While you warp, you'll watch. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sleep, you said, is it 9 p.m.? Yeah, it's 9 here. Well, it's, yeah, 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 just hit 9. So, yeah, the uh, the game on with Brady and Dak, uh, the Cowboys, and the, look, I want to say the Patriots. He don't play for them no more in Tampa Bay. It's on. I got the screen on. I need to mute it, actually. Hold on. It's not loud, loud, but let me make sure it's down. Ooh, all right. Let me mute that. But, yeah, the game going on. You said you play gulp. That's what's up, man. I used to play. I used to play when I had my young legs. What position do you play? Uh, let's go. Georgia beat Clemson 10-3. The dog's number two. Hey, that's what's up. Yep, Georgia did beat Clemson. That's right. They, uh, they let it go at the end. Yeah, go. What position do you play? What position do you play? I used to play cornerback. I was a DB. I was pretty nice. I was pretty nice. And, um, then I would play receiver. I was one of them quick, speedy, speedy guys. And when we would just be smashing the team, just beating them, they put me in at running back sometimes. I actually was pretty good at running back. I should have played running back, but I like defense. I ain't start going in at running back till like, you know, it was near the end of school and stuff like that. And so it wasn't really my position, but I really should have focused on that. But I didn't know till it was too late. Georgia. <laughs> so they goaded. That's your team. Hey, sleep. Hey, the family is doing well. The family's doing well, man. My son just put him down. Uh, everybody's chilling. Um, uh, daughter, lady, everybody's doing good, man. Everybody's doing good. Uh, my family, shoot, even my sis, my nephew, the twins, everybody's doing good. Yeah, man. How's your family, man? And how are you? You doing all right over there? How was work? So you you made it on in from work? Everything was good. Uh, let's see. Hey, Brandon, let me know if you find out about that F1, because before I leave here, I want to try to get it. And again, that's the... Oh, oh, oh. No, let's go, let's go. 
that's the only one that um I haven't even caught that one. Let me let me look that up real quick. That F one hybrid. Uh, dough balls, semolina balls, bread with honey. Okay, I'm gonna have to just put one on here with dough balls. I imagine it's in pretty much the same place, even though it's a smaller one. Either that or it's going to be to the side a bit. We might go for that as well. Yeah, it's probably close to some of that shrubbery. Like right over there. I need to go to the other side. I might do that because I was getting way more activity on the other side. Come on, that a hit. There we go. Finally, finally, goodness. You do a lot of waiting at this lake. Ah, then it's a little one. This is a young. Got to throw this back. Let's see. It's 11 a.m. Almost lunchtime. Oh, okay. So I definitely need to do my late, my late joints. Yeah. I'm going to have to get on later. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's my uh match ride. I rarely get hits on my match ride. Hey, this might be that F1 right here. This might be that F1 right here. Let's see. Let's see. What is this? Oh, <laughs> that's just a perch. Never mind. Never mind. Let me throw. But yeah, I imagine if we throw near this brush, I'm not really close enough. I'm not as close as I want to be. But we throw near this brush, we probably can get one of those F1s if they're not just out in the open. Let's see. Still got back pain, but holding strong. Going to see your granddad. Uh, he's a chiropractor. Going to get my back fixed. Okay. Hey, we're well, good, man. Good luck with that. I hope everything, you know, I hope you, you it feels better, man. Really do. Hope you can help work that out for you, sleep. Uh, get baited. <laughs> right. Oh. <sighs> You say Bama fans going down this season? I don't know. Well, you you might be right this season though. You might be right, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Dom say the best F one hybrid spot to go to. Uh, Willow Lake Spine Point. Run down the road to your right, past a light pole. Go to first fishing spot. Cast straight out a hundred feet, but a little towards the left. All right, I'm going to see if I can run down there in a sec. I'm going to see if we get one more catch. And if not, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead to the daytime. It don't look like I'm getting much more uh, activity. Sleep. Got to get that sleep. <laughs> Quarterback. <laughs> See, you at the exact spot now, Brandon? Oh, okay. So you know where it is. You're just not getting the hits. I'm about to go over there myself. See if I can find it. It might be one of my already spots. One of my already spots. Let's see, love the positive streams. You can vibe to the stream all day. Hey, that's what's up, man. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. You know how we do. All right, let's pick this up. Ah, doggone it. All right, so you said Willow Lake. Arbor Lake. Oh, yeah. I usually hit Willow Lake. All right, I'm at Willow Lake. Uh, Run down the road to the right past the light pole. First fishing spot. Now, you said to the right, though. This is the right.
Let me uh let me change this time though. Let me bring it to the daytime. To the daytime. Uh let's see. Road to the right past the right pole. I hope this is the right way. I've only caught a trophy. You need the uni. Okay. Brody, what up? What up? Uh, if it's your bedtime, look at my name. <laughs> Let's see. Turn right. Uh, first fishing spot. Cast right out. I don't know if the first fishing spot is on the left or the right. I turn right. Hey, Dom, can you see where I'm at? Because I'm right here. I'm not sure which fishing spot y'all talking about. Are you talking about the one down here? Or the one up here. Cool dude. What up? What up? What's going on? How you been? It's to your left. Okay. Hey, attack. What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? Right here? Or do I need to keep going to the left? It's right where, it, where I'm at. Right here? Am I at the right spot? Am I at the right spot? Let me know again. Am I at the right spot? That's it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Man, I've been doing good. Been doing good. Staying busy, working, fam, you know. Uh, everything has been good. No complaints. No complaints. Don't nobody want to hear it? No way. <laughs> but yeah, now everything's been good, man. Staying busy, working, the whole nine. I've really been working on trying to get, you know, organized. I do a lot and I do so much. And I'm one of those like people that, um, what you call it? I don't even just call it micromanaging. I'm, I'm like, I be doing 50 different things at once. And so sometimes I still be needing to make sure uh, I stay pretty organized. So I've been looking at like some new time management software and, and uh, apps, you know, that help me be able to list out everything and, you know what I mean, stay motivated, getting up early. I've been trying to get up early and work out, things of that nature. So, you know, just staying on top of my structure, man, and still be able to knock out these videos, these streams, my work videos, videos to edit, photography, video. Like, I do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of stuff, man. But, uh, nah, this has been a good week, though. This has been a good week. Uh, how have you been? How have you been? Let's see. Yeah, the time zone so different. Yeah, I know, man. I'm glad that um, I'm glad though that because I was debating like, oh, do I want to get on right now? But I'm I'm glad I did because I didn't know it was so early in the morning. So you can still get on here and watch, man. I thought it still might be too late, like five o'clock in the morning. Like you barely be up or six. So um, it's eleven. So that's cool. I'm going to just throw out here in the middle. I've never fished this spot. So I know this isn't a deep spot per se, but we're going to throw out here and just see what we can catch. I'm going to take one of my rods and I'm going to um I'm going to put whatever bait that F1 hybrid needs. And then on my match rides, I'm going to go for the F1 hybrid with those as well. We're going to see what we can get. Carp are pretty much everywhere at this lake. Even though this isn't a spot I fished, I've actually I got some markers over there. I've actually caught a few right over here. Uh, let's see. It's not locking to it. Hold on. I caught a trophy mirror over there, a whale's catfish, and one more, a mirror carp. Uh, let's see. What level do you recommend going to white moose? I would say shoot. At least your mid twenties. The main thing you want to do when you go to White Moose is make sure you got a decent spinner. Like I'm not even spinner or a bait caster, um, because you want it to at least be about twenty pounds. If you got you a twenty pound bait caster, you'll be good because you're gonna run into if you take that medium spoon out there, you're gonna run into a a forty pound trout. And when you go after that forty pounder, it's gonna fight for like. Five, 10 minutes. It don't come in easy. If you're in a kayak, it'll flip you over. Like you'll flip over in the kayak and just keep uh, reeling. That'd be kind of funny. So, yeah. 
and your keep net might not be big enough to hold it because it's going to be 40 pounds. So if your keep net only hold about 30, you're going to be pushing it, but you still get the experience. But I, I caught that 40 pound were about 20 times and I didn't have a big enough net. It was making me so mad because I was missing like 2000. I was like, man, I can't believe this. Let's see, red worms, blood worms. Okay, red worms, blood worms, semolina. Red worms, blood worms, semolina. Okay, I think I already got uh on this rod I'm about to pull out. I think I already got, yeah, red worms right there. You said straight out a hundred feet. This probably a hundred. I don't know how deep we should get. Uh, do I want you to post a Discord? Uh yeah, sleep. You can post a Discord. Thanks. Yeah, if anybody's new. Hit that like button. Hit that like button for me. Let's get that algorithm right. But uh, also, if you want to join the Discord, we got a cool Discord. We got good people. Everybody's real chill. We don't have a bunch of mess. So, you know, if you want to come through, hang out, drop some pics, some tips, just talk about Fish and Planet, come on through the Discord. Uh, but, yeah, White Moose is a great lake. Again, just you need at least a 20-pound spinner. You could use a match or a feeder as well, but I would go for the spinner first because medium spoon is a medium spoon is all you need. That red medium spoon. I forgot if it's called tiger or not, but it's the red medium spoon. You got that, you is like good money. Uh JC, what's going on? What's going on? Say so you missed a few streams. Hey, it's all good, man. Look, I understand. Look, life, uh, school starting back. You know, that mean even even work and things of that nature starting back for a lot of folks. So it's, it's no worries, man. Glad you made it through. Uh, let's see, 20-pound gear and go there. There you have it. There you have it. Yeah, and I've been doing good, man, doing good. Uh, all is well, family's well. Yeah, man, staying busy. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, all is well. I'm going to throw this one over here. I really need to keep going for that hybrid, but I'm going to see if I can catch a, uh, oh, that line too long. See if I can catch a whale's catfish on this line. Uh, let's see. You're going to go to Weeping Willow. Haven't really been there. Okay, yeah, it's mainly carp. You're mainly going to be fishing carp. I know you got the gear for it. Um, it can get a little boring, but as long as you got a lot of rides to throw out there, you'll get more hits. You get big hits now. You get big hits. But, I mean, any 50-pound setup will handle any of these carp. I found that. I thought that, like, they was going to be stressful. You could probably come out here with a 40-pound setup or a 30. Oh, Brock, you know what? You probably going to be catching these carp with, like, a 10-pound setup, right? Um, Sean, what's going on? What's going on? Check out Hot Spots Emerald. Uh, you left a comment. You back grinding for walleye. Nice, nice. All right, will do. I check you out. Check you out, man. How's it going? How's it going? You catching some good ones, some big ones? Wolf boy, what up, what up? Hey, yeah, yeah. I streamed earlier today, and then I think you came through, and then I streamed later. So I must have looked, man, I'm dancing around. Oh, dancing around your, your prime time, man. But you know how we do. You know how we do. Look, I'm glad you made it through. Hey, stay long as you can, man. I understand, you know. I understand you got to gotta go. But yeah, hang out for a minute. Hey, welcome to the macro universe. That's right. That's right. Hey, what's up, T? What's good? What's up? TNR. <laughs> got you playing again. Good, good. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. What up, QP? What up, what up? You on PC? Uh, I'm on PC right now. I'm not on the console, so you know. If you on here, yes, sir. Let's see, Brock. Oh, you got four cart rides. I hear you. Look, I invested in that first one. I invested in one. And I said, let me fish with it and see how it does. Oh, Brock, if you'd have been around early, I made some ground bait. And um, I had to get one of those PVC things to throw it out because I bought a feeder. So I, I wasted, well, I ain't going to say wasted money, but I used ground bait and then I bought that that flat green feeder and it wouldn't work on that. So I guess it's a different type of ground bait that you use. 
But it don't seem to really be helping that much, honestly. Like, the frequency is still slow. Yeah, just like now. It doesn't really seem to be helping anything. But you could at least help me get that mixture right, man. Sean said, you've been grinding night fishing only. Still get bites. Yeah, man. Actually, if you're... um. If you at Emerald, nighttime is the best time for walleye. Daytime ain't the best time. You fish nighttime, you'll catch them pretty much every time you throw it out there, if not every other. So, yeah, it's good you fishing at night. Nighttime used to be the only time you could catch walleye. Um, they changed it where you could get them during the day. Well, some people said they could catch them during the day. I couldn't, not uh, with narrow spoons. Yeah, going well, going well, Faze. What's going on with you? How you been? How you been? I say all is well, all is well. Here fishing that weeping willow. I'm really trying to get this hybrid at this spot, but it's looking kind of janky. I might move. I'll try this out, you know, when I'm just sitting here doing something else. Up, up, up. Is that a hit? Up, there you go. They heard me talking trash. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? There it is. I can give it to you, but what you going to do with it? I can give it to you, but what you going to do? I can give it to you, but what you going to do with it? I can give it to you. What, 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 what? Okay, at first I thought this might have been a uni or a trophy. It looked like it might be a regular. A regular schmegler. It could still be a trophy, though. Let's see. Now, nah, regular mirror. Regular mirror. Sean, PS4. That's what's up. Let's see. Just try on Sander Bagger Sea Lake. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Yeah. It's another feeder lake. Like, I call them the feeder lakes when it's like carp and stuff like that. They're just not as active. They're just not as active. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me let me hit the map real quick. Let me mark this. Yeah, these aren't as fun as what it is, they're um. They're not uh, predator fish. So, you know, being the fact that they are herbivores, it's like they don't bite as much. The predator fish got way more activity, like when you go to St. Croix and you're going at the pike and, and things of that nature. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you was around before, uh, but fell asleep. Get a spy ride. Okay. A spy ride. Is that just the the thing or that's the actual ride? That's one of the rides after the carp ride. Yeah, I need to get that. I, I got to get a higher frequency. If I'm going to be fishing these carp, and I like it once you get a bite and reeling them in, but beyond that, it's just too much waiting. So you're going to play the game some before you go to bed, so you're going to have to leave the stream. Okay. And that's working well. You watching and playing. All right. Hey, I understand, Wolf. No problem. No problem. Hey, did you ever get the Pike Slasher? I'm pretty sure you'd have told me if you had, but I'm just asking. Let's see. Got a hot spot at Emerald. You'll post it again in Discord. Thanks, Sleep. Uh, Jonathan, uh, your travel ball team. Uh, you on the 13U, 14U. Oh, you get to meet Braves players at their game. What? Ah, oh, dang. That's messed up. Well, hopefully you'll get to meet them too, man. you get your time. Try sweet corn. Man, I don't have any sweet corn on me. I only have um, I only have regular corn. I got sweet peas, but the corn was doing better than the sweet peas, so I stuck with those. Niz, what up, what up? Uh, say life is common in the land down under. Hey, what up, Nez? How you doing? How you doing? How goes it? Let's see. Gotta go. Got school tomorrow. Good night. Hey, all right, attack. Have a good one, man. Do well in school. Do well in school. Get them good grades. Learn something. Learn something. Yeah, man, take it easy. Appreciate you stopping through. Yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm going to at least go to one of my spot spots. Let's see. Hot spot in the Discord. Thanks, Sleep. Ah, uh, man. You never caught the Pikes last year yet. Doggone it. Your time will come. When you catch it, it's going to be a record-breaking Pikes last year. That's why they putting you through all this. 
It's like the game trolling you on that Pike Slasher, but yeah. You gonna get it, man. Say you join the stream tomorrow. Okay, because hey, I, I may do that. So, yeah. Just look out for it. If you see that note, he come on through. Come on through. I'm going to leave that rise since it was going off. It's a fish nibbling. There you go. There you go, fish. Good, good, good. Trying to make me not leave this spot, but I'm still leaving. I'm still leaving. Yeah, this is a Lil one. Lil one. 90% uh, of people in Australia live in the coast. Uh, is that like by the water? Or is that away from the water? Let's see, all good here. Going to buy the saltwater pack later and head to Blue Crab. Nice. Yeah, I may do that since I can't go to the Amazon no more. And I do need a pack. And I want to get um, I want more slots in my inventory. I also want um some more bait coins. I'm thinking about investing in some bait coins. Uh let's see, where am I at? Where I want to go, where I want to go. But uh, yeah, I thought about go ahead and getting a pack. It's something else I'm forgetting. As to why we get a pack, but yeah, and then get access. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go down here to this spot down this way. Uh, sorry, spot didn't work. That's why you seen a lot of people catch them. Hey, no worries, no worries. I get them eventually. Let's see. Feel like Australia got them dangerous animals like croc snake spiders and stuff. You live in Australia, you would probably live in a city, but you don't like big cities here in the States. Yeah, I don't know what I would do if I lived in Australia. But it would be dope. <laughs> it would be dope. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let me turn. I know it's nice there, though. I know it got to be nice. It'd definitely be an experience. Eight more glyphs, nice. Corey, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? You say, Faze, am I live on Twitch? Yeah, I'm on Twitch too. I'm streaming on both. What up, Corey, man? How you doing? How goes it, Corey? How you been? How's your day been? How your week been? It's almost Friday. Uh, remember how you was level 54, you level 61. God, Brock, you don't be playing. I need to go with some lower gear. Uh, let's see. Do I want to hit it from here or there? Here or there? Nez. Yeah, Brock, you be getting it in. Hold on, going there. A hey, from YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to say that right. I'm going to just say rig. Is it Geyer? Geyer, Geyer the rig or Geyer the rig or G red rig. I'm going to just say rig. I'm going to just say rig. Oh, what up? What up? Let's see Brock. No, they don't really. It's all cap. People say they have spider snakes everywhere, but it's not true. Corey, good, 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 good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Oh, uh, let me uh put down my stand. Let's see. Brock and Macro be fishing planet guys. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. Yeah, look, Brock Legend. I'm trying to get there with him. I done learned a lot though. I've learned a lot. I thought I knew a lot, and then I ran into Brock. Do I have more to learn? Uh, let me see. I've caught some unis right here. I'm going to see if I can catch some unis. Hey, what up, G? G Rig? Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. You are elite. Appreciate that. 
And again, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Brock, Brock says premium. That's what it is. Premium do make a difference. Lord, that's the other thing I was like thinking about with a pack. Just to get some premium again. I need one with 30 days though. That's seven days just enough to get your taste buds jumping. But that 30 day, whoo. I, I want to invest, man. I was thinking about doing the year. Y'all let me know in the comments, should I get premium? I was thinking about doing it just because, you know, since, since I stream and since we do this together, I got to be able to stay with some type of money, you know, and, and be able to move around the lakes. Otherwise, I really have to grind a long time and lakes. Just like this lake, I got to stay here because I can't take the loss. I'm going to lose so much money if I just dip, you know, even though I saved up. So you got to stay and really grind harder. Uh, without that premium, but I'd be wanting to move around for you guys. So, yeah, no. It's give and take. Up, oh, up. Oh, can we get some activity? Up, oh, there we go. There we go. Let's go on and get some hits. Let's go on and get some hits. Let's see. Ah, oh, man, this a little one. This a little one. All right, guys, come on, on up. Uh, who's not hit that like button? <laughs> you better have a good excuse. Thanks, Niz. Niz. G say it doesn't matter. All right, I hear you. I hear you. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you need to slow down, bro. I got. I got to catch up with you. I ain't gonna get there no time soon. Uh, the premium, uh, the premium, and the um, and fishing with the light. Setups, so you be getting that extra XP. I'm just trying to get to 54, man. I feel like once I hit 54 and can go to uh Blue Crab, that's gonna make a big difference because I'm 53 right now, working my way up. But whoo, it's taking forever. I needed like a hundred and something thousand to get to the next level, and I'm still at about a hundred. All right, here we go, getting some activity. Let me see it bend. There it is. You got to wait on that bend. Ooh, this a good one, y'all. This a good one. Ah, uh, nah, okay, the tension going down. Wait a minute. He might just be charging. Is he charging? Is he charging? We got to see if he gets some pullback. Okay, there it is. He slowed down. I was going to say this might be a uni. I don't think it's a uni. I think it's a trophy, though. I think it's a trophy. Yep, it's a trophy. Trophy grass. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice. Uh, premium is an addiction. Yeah, man, for real. See, I got to get it. Yeah, I, I feel like it's an investment. I feel like it's an investment for the good of the channel and for the streams so we can progress, move around, and still have some change to do some things. Yeah, I, I feel like it's necessary. The, you know, the gamer in me, you know, I always want to just grind it up and just, you know, get everything the hard way. I'm one of them underdog type of cats. But, yeah, I think it's good for the channel. Yeah, I think it's an investment. Um, If I wasn't doing it like this, then I might try to say, all right, I'll do it out. But, yeah, I think, it, I think it's good. Let's see. <laughs> Brock, agree with you, Sleep. You say it is for real. Uh, premiums a must have. Okay, all right. Look, and y'all the y'all the dudes, y'all the ones that really be on here getting it. Know everything is like that. I mean, I be on here getting it too, but you know what I mean. I trust what y'all say because y'all got experience. Let's see. You know, in one week and real life, you got an eleven levels. Goodness. Woo. Brock be getting it in, getting it in like Uncle Ben. Hey, I am. We talking about shooting down to the beach um, tomorrow. Or maybe Saturday, actually. So, um, so yeah, because I'll probably have to get my streaming tomorrow. It might be Saturday, just for like a day or two. Um, really just a day, and then coming back the next day. And we talking about fishing. Like I said, my sister and my nephew. My nephew, uh, he's in high school. And, um, you know, we all fish. So we talking about going to the coast. Cause the last time we went down to the coast, what was it about 
two, two, three months ago. And I was fishing off the pier. I got some pictures. I started to post it in Discord, but they weren't really like the best quality picture. But I was holding, I caught a, what I guess, like a whiting. I caught a shark. I actually caught a couple shark. One was real small. Well, they all was real small. Threw them back. One was real small. But yeah, thinking doing some in real life. So if I go and I catch some stuff, if I do happen to go Saturday and just shoot down there, I'm going to have some pictures for y'all. Again, just going to be some simple bait fishing. Not no spin or nothing like that. Nothing crazy. But I see if I can catch something big. Catch a barracuda or something. Uh, let's see. Uh, you think you glued to Fishing Planet? Yeah, man. I've been playing Fishing Planet for a long time. I feel you. It's, you know, and I still be trying to bury it up and, and play other games, but it be times where I just get so locked into this game. There we go. Go on and bend. Go on and bend. Oh, you're not going to bend. Okay. All right. This is a, all right. This is an all right size one. Again, this might be another trophy right here. Might be another trophy. At minimum, it's just a, a, a regular, a Reggie. He pushing it. He pushing it. Is that a ghost? That might be a ghost. Yeah, this is a ghost carp. Let's see. Is that a troll? That's a regular. I like these ghost carps. I think they the coolest looking carps. I like these ghost carps. Uh, hold on. Let me see. He not that big. I don't expect him to be big. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, is the $40 Amazon boat pack worth it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, brother. Amazon, now that's one that I can co-sign. That Amazon pack is absolutely worth it if you're going to spend some change. Uh, the boat is like the best boat. You get an 88-pound spinner. Well, I guess you call it a bait caster. Um, access to that Amazon, you can level up so fast. We did my last day. It was like my last two hours in the Amazon. I streamed it. Um, for that, I was just grinding off camera because I really wanted to learn it. I got a lot of spots. I'm going to be ready when we go back there when I get my level up. But those sharks, bruh, those sharks are like the young sharks you'll catch the most of. 8,000 a pop. You'll get, what is it, 1,000? XP or something like that. The regular sharks, 24, 25K, and you'll get two, three thousand. Y'all correct me. I don't even remember the exact numbers on the XP, but it's two, three K, five K, something like that. XP. Your XP will go up crazy. And then if you happen to get the trophy, I call it a 400 pound trophy. It was like 40,000. I couldn't even keep it. My keep net wasn't big enough. And the um the XP was like 25K. So if you grind the Amazon, if you get that Amazon pack and just sit there for a week, you could literally go up like 20, 30 levels. It just depends on how much time you got. Like I was streaming. And so, you know, I was going to different lakes. I didn't stay there because I was just really trying to do it so I could move around. Oh, this might be a uni, guys. This might be a uni. And so we could enjoy the streams, go to different places. But I was taking that money, investing, um, traveling to different spots, upgrading, and really, I still save some of it, but man, you could probably make two, three million if you really grind hard enough and you got that time. Uh, I thought this was a uni, but it's not. He was just fighting a little bit under the water. He ain't gonna even be a trophy. He got me. He got me. Let's see, fishing in the tanks at the Sea Life Center doesn't count as fishing. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna go to the pier, man. I'm gonna go to the pier. Now, one thing I, I debate or wonder is if it counts as fishing is deep sea fishing. How y'all feel about deep sea fishing? Is that like shooting fish in a barrel or is that is that fishing? Does that qualify? Or do you got to be at a, at a lake or a river or even if you at the, uh, even if you're at the ocean, do you got to be really, you know, using something else? Because, you know, deep sea, who you pretty much guaranteed. Uh, let's see, you glued the No Man's Sky, trying to get your ship. Hey, get your ship, man. Get your ship, sleep. Let's see, John L. Hey, what's up, John? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Hey, I'm good. I'm good over here, man. Having a good time with the stream, man. Fishing. 
I'm here weeping willows. We get some good activity. Guys, this might be a uni, though. This might be a uni. When they swimming around looking like jaws with the fin popping out the top. I like to say they swimming like they don't even know they got they hooked. Now, he not taking the line, though. That's the only thing. He might just be a trophy. He might just be a trophy, yeah. Ah, uh, my little ground bait done expired. Doggone it. Let's see. Brock, wake up at 1, get on Fishing Planet, go to sleep at 12, wake up at 1, grind. Yeah, he be grinding, though. He, he serious. Brock is official like a whistle. All right, I got to make some more ground bait. I think I'm out, actually. I think I'm out. Let me see. Uh, Make sure to do your research before you go catch the sharks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, Ray, you kinda right. <laughs> uh cool. Next time you have some spare change, you'll pick it up. Deep sea fishing, you do a lot in Australia, mainly get sharked. Okay. Yeah, when I went deep sea fishing the first time, I caught a nice size shark. And uh I chopped that thing up. Well, I let them do it, but chopped that thing up and ate it. It was pretty good too. It was pretty good. Uh let me see if I can put some more on here. Ah, it's not enough to fill the feeder. I think I need that smaller size, because why am I wasting this? Oh, 66. That's the hours. Okay, okay. I don't even know if I got enough to make another mixture. Yeah, it's out. I'll go on it. Uh, let me get me another bag from the shop. And let's see, these pellets. Maybe the nutrients. Oh, spy rocket. I saw one of the ones that go in that flat feeder. Where was it at? Is it these bollies? Nah, that's spy rocket too. Corn mix. That's still spied. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, like Brock was saying though, if you do go to the Amazon, make sure you look some stuff up. Or either look up, it's a stream. It was like a week or two ago. And you need to know some spots because it's not apparent. Once you find the spots, though, and you know where to go and how to fish it, you can make a ton of money. But if you don't know, you'll just be floating around. You can go at the uh, Apodimus, Apodimus. They make good money, too. But the sharks is really where it's at. So, yeah, once you know some of those spots. Actually, if you come to the Discord, uh, my man Werewolf had put some of his spots. He posted his uh, map. With a lot of his marker spots. But yeah, definitely know where you're going and what technique you wanna use so you don't um so you don't waste your time. See, I can win this if I get the mission, the exploration, you can get some of this hot spices mix. Uh pace light, long time, da -da -da. method feeder fishing. Oh, flat feeder. So this will go in the flat feeder. Uh, I need that method mix for the flat feeder. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Repping that Charlotte. Hey, you know it. You know it. All day. Get more ground baits. Ah, your game just crashed. Dang. Sorry about that. I'm going to try some different ground bait then. Let's see. Shell fate. Shell, uh, shell fate. Shellfish. I had got this 6G. Ground bait. Ah, uh, that plum. I'm going to get some of the cheap stuff. I want to try that method mix, man. I'm going to stick with the ground bait, though. Let's see the shellfish. Rivers Lakes Reservoirs. Oh, it's a use with a spy rocket. Nah, that ain't what I need. Banana uh, spy rocket. I got this right here, this fish meal. Okay, it all say spy rocket, so I should be able to use any of them. Uh, you can't get me to go near Australia, <laughs> the crocodiles. Um, I wouldn't even worry about the crocs. It's those brocks. <laughs> hey, Jared, what's going on? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Ooh, this crab meat. 
Tiger Nut. Mulberry, halibut, shellfish, worm. I'm going to try this worm. I'm going to do this worm. All right, let's do that. Let's go ahead and make us something. Hey, where is that? Okay, there we go. Let's see, worm. I needed at least 10 for it to work. I'm going to do 10. Do you recommend doing more than 10? Because I normally do 10. Uh, Alex, I almost forgot about you. <laughs> Good to see you. What's up, Alex? Yeah, man, look. Appreciate you not forgetting about me. I'm still here. I'm still here. How goes it? All right, Jonathan, take it easy. Good night. Good night. Let's see. Right now you fishing for catfish. Nice. Nice. How's your look? I'm going to do this 10%. Wonder can I add this little bit to it too? Ain't nothing left. Dog on it. Then why is it still here? If ain't no more left, uh, I'm gonna add this aroma, flavor supreme. There we go. Let's mix that up. Let's mix it up. Mix it up. All right, cool, cool, cool. It's going to jump back in this. Oh, I got to put it on before I pull it out. All right, let's see. Bam, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, pass me them things, let's get them. Oh, Dallas beating Tampa Bay. Oh, wow. All right. We're going to see how this new ground bait works. And I got to work on my recipes, finding some recipes that, that do good business. Let's see. What's you eat for dinner, mac and cheese or steak? Tor Is that tortilla or torta? Mmm, good question, good question. Which should you eat? Let me see if I catch anything with this. Go with the, uh, I mean, the steak sound like it's going to have more uh, sustenance to it. Sustenance, sustenance. So you might want to go with that for the fullness, but you can't never go wrong with mac and cheese, though. You can't go wrong with mac and cheese, though. So if you're going for something that's more of a filler, do the steak. Otherwise, do the mac and cheese. I'm going to throw this minnow over here, see if we can catch a whales. See if we catch us a whales. Get this whale's catfish. And like I said, this lake is it's all right. It's all right. Hey, Crocs, you never seen really in salt water, but you do have them. But you never see them. When you cast your 12-foot beach ride in real life, you wait deep. Eh. And I mean, there are places here that we got Crocs, you know, they're not everywhere, but shoot, Florida. I mean, the Florida Gators, you know, they got Gators all over Florida. People that got, go to them golf courses, you know, they'll mess around and see Gators coming out the water. I'm trying to think where we got Crocs at. It might, I might just be thinking Gators, but either way, they cousins. So, I mean, it's not like we're absent of things like that. Let's see, maybe you should eat both. Ah, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. You're using your noodle. My line is really moving with this one I'm holding. 
it is like really moving. Some fish is, is playing with the line. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. See, they playing, man. They the carp. It's the only thing those carps will tease your line. They will tease your line. Let's go, carp. Six glyphs to go. Sleep, what do you got to do to get the glyphs? Is it just exploring? Is it training? Do you got to fight some type of bosses? Like, what do you really got to do to get those? Let's see, you hadn't really seen Jay. And yeah, man, I know. Look, I was I was uh getting concerned too, man. But nah, Jay popped in today. He said he'd been working with his job or what he do. Sometimes he go for big stretches where he might be uh having to really work for two, three months at a time, and then he get time, a block of time off. And when he get that block of time off, he come back through. So yeah, he came through, he gave a shout, man. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I, I was thinking the same way. Hadn't seen him in a minute, man. I hope he was all good, you know. But, uh, yeah, no, nah, he said he good, man. It just been work. It, I streamed this morning, and he popped through. John, let's see. C-Mac found it through the YouTube algorithm. Uh, what am I streaming? I was EST. You missed the last two streams. Okay, and look, that's what's up, man. Glad you found me. Um, uh, talk to Travelers Fine Grays. Okay, okay. Yeah, um. I'm going to tell you, because right now I am working from home a lot, I usually, you know, go in, but I've still been working home a lot due to the to the circumstances. So I usually only go in a couple of days a week because um, I do some video stuff and I do more, uh, really just do more IT stuff. Anyway, anyway, so because of that, I haven't really put like a time time on it. I just stream either during the day. My days are Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Those are the guaranteed days. Then sometimes I stream on Friday and Saturday. I still usually end up streaming on Friday and Saturday. But what I normally do, for instance, I streamed uh, earlier today. I usually have a morning meeting. So after that, in between like a lunch break type of thing, I might stream like anywhere from like 11 to 1 EST during the day. At night when I stream, it's usually after I put the kids to bed, or at least my son, because he he toddler. So it's usually after we put them to bed around eight. So when I stream at night, it's usually gonna be about nine. Um nine to nine to ten o'clock EST. Uh, but again, I, I ain't really putting no specific time out just cause, you know, I can fit I can stream during the day sometimes now for my people in different time zones, but um, I know I'm gonna end up going back to work, you know, or going back in the building more eventually. Shit, I don't know the way it's looking. I might not, but because of that, uh, I've been trying not to, you know, be like I, I'm gonna stream every day at you know, twelve p.m. one one eight one p.m. or something like that. Um, uh, but if I do resume like that, they're probably all gonna be around nine EST, like tonight, nine ten. And then on my, when I had like a week day off, I usually get one day during the week off. I'll probably do that one in the daytime just so all my peeps, like my peeps in Australia, my peeps on the other parts of the map, in, in Europe and other places. That way we can still, you know, have a time, you know, when everybody can get on. But the way I'm seeing too, though, even when I stream in the morning, even though I be trying to kind of be available for a different time slot, you know, people are at school or at work and things of that nature. So it might still be good to just do it later like this. So, yeah, that's my long way of uh, answering your question. Uh, you wonder what happened to the guy that got bit by a snake. I don't know. That is a good question. That is a good question. Let's see, uh, have a look at the game on PC. It's called Flight Simulator. You can fly around anywhere in the world. You can fly to Australia. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. 
Yeah, um, I really wanted to check out Flight Simulator. My guy Jimmy that stops through sometime, he played, he been playing Flight Simulator for years. I, I played the Flight Simulator years ago. The one back when computers was wasn't even having real graphics cards. You know what I mean? But uh yeah, my man Jimmy, he got like a video, some flight simulator videos with like a million views. Um yeah, man. Yeah, Charlotte is really starting to get a little crazy, man. Uh, I did not mean to reel this in, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cases is definitely getting up there. It's it's starting to get wild all around, man. But you know, hope hopefully it'll it'll level out or work out. But yeah, man, it's getting rough out here. I'm gonna try Semolina ball. See if I can find that hybrid. Uh, that hybrid carp. I'm going to leave it at 70. I feel like he might be deep. I just hold this one. Brock, let's see. It's a real world game. It's so realistic. It's crazy. All the cockpit. What? I got to try it out. And I know it's an update because, again, the game been around for a long time. But, yeah, I need to try uh, that flight simulator out. Get my aeronautical zone. I'm going to check out Jimmy's video, but I think his video is from about four. He it, ah, I can't even talk. His was from like four or five years ago. It wasn't like the most recent one, and I know they released more recent ones. But I checked that out. We might get on here and fly around. I fly to y'all different areas. You know what I mean? When we on the uh, flight sim flying, y'all can throw me up the deuces. Be like, what up from the sky? Well, y'all will be on the ground. I'll be in the sky, but you know what I mean. All right, man, all that beeping. I need y'all to beep for real. Ooh, refreshing. Yeah, these fish be playing, man. Come on. Again, it's the only thing about weeping willows, man. Only thing about weeping willow. Uh, no, it's the most recent one. Okay, okay. Thanks, Gup. Yeah, like, subscribe. Oh, you know what? It's one thing I forgot to do. One thing I forgot to do. You can do real time and real weather anywhere you go. Wow. Forgot to go on the YouTubes and change one of my settings. All right, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I am. I'm going to check it out, Brock. I will check it out. Now, is it a uh, multiplayer as well? Cause again, just talk about my guy Jimmy. He um he played like truck driving simulator and construction simulator and you know American truck driving, European bus simulator. I got bus simulator. Um, I actually made some video. It dropped two days ago, and I had some video made and and I recorded it in a format because I did it on a different computer, and so I had just installed OBS because I had never put it on that computer. But the format was like that MK. And when I pulled it over, it wasn't working right when I was trying to convert it, man. So I'm, I had to redo all that. Man, I recorded all this footage. I had to record it like three times because my steering wheel wasn't working. I got the steering wheel. I didn't realize I didn't have a power cord in it. I was just using USB thinking it was going to power it, but it has its own power source. I felt like a dunt. So I was like, okay. So I played it the first night using the controller and thinking, trying to get my, my steering wheel to work. Second night, I got the steering wheel to work recorded. Then I had to do it one more, one more again. I like, man, forget it. So I still need to do that because the dev sent me a key. So I want to get that content out on the channel. But yeah, 
Um, I definitely want to check that flight simulator. Oh, but that's what I was asking though. Is flight simulator multiplayer? Is the multiplayer where you can fly together or be on the plane with each other, kind of like the truck driving simulator, or is it just straight single player? Fishing Planet. All right, where does join at? Oh, I'm doing a couple things at the same time. While we waiting on these stinking fish to bite. How many of y'all have tried competitions? How many of y'all have got into custom competitions like this one down here? I need to do more of these sponsored competitions. All right, there we go. Have you done the game sponsor competitions? And what about the, uh, again, the custom ones? I've done more custom ones. I tried some of the game ones, but man, I never placed well. The last one I think I did was a wall out one. You know what? I got close. I was in the top 10 a couple times, but then I, I ended up getting bumped out. It didn't turn out well. It did not turn out well. Uh, let's see, sleep. Okay, sleep. Appreciate it. Take your break, man. We should be here when you get back. Yeah, hit that like button for me, guys. You just getting in. Hit that like button. Feed that YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share, follow. Y'all know, you know. You know all that good stuff. Um... Let's see, you can do real time. Uh, you want me to stream that game? All right, I'll look into it, man. Yeah, I'll look into it. Uh, check it out on YouTube. Okay. Uh, me, you have won a bit of them. It'll, you know, it's going to take me a minute, especially if it's a learning curve, to, you know, get down the mechanics, especially if it's a full cockpit like that. Uh, John, you did the first flight sim. About seven, eight years ago, had a whole setup with dual monitors. Wow. Flight yoke, pedals, everything. You loved every minute of it. Just got too expensive to upgrade your uh, PC. Hey, that's what's up. I might could do that. Again, I got the steering wheel. You probably can't see it, but it's right there in the back. I got my steering wheel right there. Um, And so, like, I got a Seto Corso and stuff like that. I don't really play it like that, though. Um... But I got it more for the bus driving game because I used to play that last year. And a lot of people liked it. I made a few uh, tutorial videos and things of that nature. But I tried that flight sim, man. I tried that flight sim. I probably won't get the whole setup. I, well, who knows? If I like it enough, I might do it. I might invest. But, uh, yeah, I try that out and check it out. Let's see. Check your time. It's probably not. A time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do that. Corey got to go to bed. All right, Corey. Hey, appreciate you coming through. Uh, make sure you look out for the next stream. Come back and holler. But have a good one. Going to get you some rest. Peace and blessings. Good health to you and the family. Holler later. Yeah, it probably ain't it. Oh, nah. It's actually moving towards the peak. But I am going to go ahead and reel these in. Sometimes you got to reel and recast. They be acting funny. Uh, this felt like I had a little bite. This one felt like I had a bite. I'm going to reel this one in, throw him over to the right side. See what he do, what he do. Yeah, if I knew where the pike were at, man, I would go fish pike. Pike are here somewhere at this lake, but I have no idea where. Do any of y'all know where the pike are at? Where the pike hang out? Um, I fish a bit. I fish a bit. Uh, I always say I don't fish as much as I used to because I used to fish with my granddad, and he had passed away uh some, some years ago. So I didn't fish as much, but, um, yeah, I do a little local fishing, you know, at lakes and ponds. 
like I said, my sister, my nephew, we've been trying to get back out there more. Because, you know, they got catfish around here. So, you know, you can catch catfish at, like, some of the major parks here, like Freedom Park and, you know, some of the other parks. So, yeah. And, again, I might go this weekend because we were talking about fishing. My sister, my uh, my nephew, he's the older brother. Then uh, she got some twins. They're younger, though. They uh, all their birthdays are like around the same. It's the same date, basically. It's not the exact same date, but they all their birthdays are like a few days apart. So they wanted to run. They were going to the beach. So I was thinking of going down there, even though, again, I got work and stuff and we got school fam with the family and stuff like that. But we might run down there just to celebrate a bit. And uh, we were talking about fishing down there at the ocean. Because, again, I was fishing off the pier a few months ago and was catching some good stuff. So, yeah, we're going to go back down there, pull out the rods, fish a bit. Uh, let's see. Pike. Hey, what's up, Soul T? Pike, grass, Wickershire River, near the spine. Oh, you know what? I might go do that because I'm tired of waiting on these doggone carps. They good money when they bite, but when they don't bite, they boring. Let's see. Uh, you've been skunked at Lake Norman. What? Really? Like literal skunks? For real, for real? Or are you just talking about fishing? Because yeah, that'd be crazy. I was thinking about getting a little boat, uh, a little lake cruise thing up there you know you can rent out some boats and, and hang out and fish swim and all of that when i was a little younger younger i went to a few parties on lake norman i had some friends that was like you know they had some uh some prominent family with some uh boat houses and stuff down there so they would party get their dad's boat i mean their dad's lake house and throw these big parties it'd be crazy but that's another life. That's some other stories. I'll tell y'all about that some other time. We won't go into all of that. We won't go into all of that. Uh, let's see. Grass Wickershire. Where is that at? Grass Wickershire. There it is. River. Oh, so it's fishing the river and not the uh and not those big lake patches. Ah, that make more sense. Is this what the F1 hybrid is? That probably wouldn't be over here. The pike would probably eat that. <laughs> the pike would probably eat those F1 hybrids. Uh, okay, I had never fished Lake Wiley. I do want to go down there. I've went to, I knew some people, well, some people on people's work with down there at Lake Wiley. So I've been down there before, but I never fished down there. And I think they lived on the lake too, but we didn't, we didn't fish. We just hung out. It was like a cookout or something I went to with somebody and they coworkers. I would like to do that. You know what? I ain't think about Lake Wiley. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sleep, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, Hold on, let me look at this. Grass wicker near the spine. All right. We're going to see if we can catch up some pike, guys. Right here near this spawn. Near this spawn. Let me pull out my raw stand. We can make us some I right money with the pike. We gonna be all right. I, I mean, I was making my money back with the cart. Like I ain't gonna act like I wasn't making no money, but you know the pike do business. Uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Not this one. Let's go with this majesty. I thought I had one that already had. There we go. Had large minnows on it. I changed it. Let me put these large minnows back on here. Uh, fishing. <laughs> I look clean every time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's all a mirage. It's all a mirage. It ain't even real. All right, there we go. 
Um, okay, four. Gonna put that one on four. You know what? Let me throw my feeders out first. I'm gonna throw my feeders. Ah, this one got bollies and stuff on it. I can't use that one. I go with this one. I can change it back to this corn when we head back going after those. Um, I'm going to throw up this way this time. Yeah, when we head back going for carp, I'll put the corn back on there. All right, there we go. Let's see what carp bodies are good. I'm a, I'll show you the ones I got, and they've worked. But I don't know if there are some that are better. Um, I got the fish meal pop up. I heard that these was good, and the worm pop up. They like around level fifty ish, level forty nine, level fifty ish. But the fish meal point eight, and the worm point eight. I tried out these caviar pop-ups. They actually did pretty good as well. I figured caviar, since it was fancy, the fish might be fancy too, you know, catch them bougie fish. And yeah, it did work pretty good. The cat box. JC. Hey, what's up, JC? Yo, appreciate that. Appreciate that. And welcome back. Shout out to JC. Super chatting. That's what's up, man. Thank you. Good looking out. JC, the bigger figure. Yeah, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Shout out to JC. Uh, let me see. Oh, you know what? I got a four out hook on here. I can I can keep this the way it is. Guys, put that W J. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, J C deserve a dub. Put some dubs in the chat. I'm gonna have to get J C a dub myself. Let me let me do that too. Put I'm gonna put a dub in the chat for JC. Get the dubs. Uh, let's see. You had really good luck with paying fish out at Canes Creek and Waxhaw. Okay, I had to check that out. You fish with red worms. So T. Okay, so T got some suggestions. Okay, uh Choco, Citrus, Crab, Krill, Spices, Strawberry, Worms. Okay. That's what's up. Thank you. Niz, what's up, Niz? What up, Niz? Niz done jumped on Twitch. Ah, I'm trying to get my mouse. Where's my mouse? Okay, there we go. Hey, what's up, Anthony? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How you doing? How you been? How you been since the last time? Oh, so you at weeping? That's what's up. How's it been going so far? Or have you just got uh just jumped in? Yes, you can catch you some good carp. Oh, you know what? That's one thing I forgot to do earlier. There's one thing I forgot to do earlier. Let me see. Okay, I thought I needed to add somebody. Yeah, man, how you doing? How you been? How your day been? And how is weeping treating you right now? Mm. 
Man, so you close to four glyphs. You're going to get those glyphs, Sleep. You're going to get those glyphs. I'm not catching anything right now. I might have to head back to the, uh, let's see. I might, oh, okay. I see some fish jumping around up there, though. So I might have to head back to the carp spot. Oh, do I got a walker on me? Jay would be proud if I use this walker. I might could get away with a casting spoon, too. I'm going to try both of those real quick. Crankbait ain't doing much. The crankbait ain't doing much. All right. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, that X-Series spinner. I want to use that. Ooh, I got that X-Series medium spoon. Do a uh, pike go at the medium spoons? I cannot remember. I feel like they do. I feel like I don't ever use them, though. But I feel like they do. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check. Pike. No, just casting spoons. Okay. Crankbait wouldn't get nothing. Used to get walkers, too, but they ain't doing nothing. Let me try my casting spoon. I think it's too heavy, though. I think it's too heavy. Let me go for this casting spoon. Throw this gold out here. All right, Pike, come on. Where you at? Where you at? He's Pike playing. These Pike are playing. Anthony say, they going well, got busy, all your rides been beeping. Hey, can you help find a hybrid F1 unique carp, the only one you having trouble catching? Yeah, again, I haven't caught it yet myself. I'm trying to uh, locate it also. But I can find out, you know, figure out where it is. But yeah, I haven't actually caught it. Let's see, start streaming 2K21 or 22. Uh, it comes out. Actually, you can play 2K right now. I started to go ahead and get it. They got that early release. Well, if you pre-ordered it. I didn't pre-order it, but... um. I started to play that gulp. You know, I be on 2K. Like, when I play it, I be on it hard. Like, I waited to get it last year. And last year was actually good for my team. I like my team. I waited till, it, till the price dropped down to, like, 30. It was, like, less than 50% when I got it. And then I ran through it. But I would have, if I'd have known I was going to like it like that, I would have went ahead and got it early. So I'm thinking, do I want to go ahead and get it now? I made a, uh, I was really going to do some 2K footage, but I wasn't going to do it on this channel. So I made a, a Charles Macro 2K channel, but I ain't put anything on it yet. I was going to wait the 22 drop. Now that it's here, though, I'm trying to debate on if I want to put that time into it or not, or not, or just stay on these games. So stay on the fishing planet and, you know, some of the more survival type joints. I don't know. I'm debating. I'm debating. Yeah, I ain't catching nothing right now. I'm going to run up here a bit and see if anything strike. If not, we'll go back to the carp spot. Yeah, we'll go back to the carp spot. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to get a uh, next gen too, at least the the Xbox Series S. 
because I haven't got anything next gen yet. So yeah, we'll see. I'm not catching anything over here. I have to come back and, and experiment a little more, kind of go up and down this whole little river spot, uh, see what the best spots are. And, you know, I threw out a lot of different types of bait down here, but they are not striking, so. Oh, well, we tried to catch some of these pike over here, guys. To no avail, to no avail. Go on and pull these up. Yeah, I'll come back and, and figure this spot out. See how you catch them pikes. See how you catch them pikes. Hmm. We ain't getting nothing. Like, I was wondering if there were any other types of fish over here besides pike. You would think it would be something. Uh, let's see. You just found it. Arbor Lake spot in the deep area. Okay. Took you a while to catch it. What did you use? Uh, what type of bait did you use? Did you use dough balls, blood worms, or were you still using the same stuff you would use for the regular carp? All right, go. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. I'll let you know if I do that or be on the lookout. Or I have, dang, maybe in one of these streams, I'll let you know the channel. Go look up the Charles Macro 2K. It might not come up in the search because I ain't really got no content on it. But if you go sub to that, then um, you'll see if I get it and I put some content up, man. You come through and support. Uh, let's see, Arbor Lake. Okay, yeah, I was already over here. Uh, let's see, it's two deep spots in Arbor Lake. Let's look at the map. Look, I done caught a ton of stuff over here, but not the hybrid, though. Uh, first thing you do is like and stay subscribed. Hey. I'm, okay, so I've been fishing from this side. And for whatever reason, my activity wasn't as great. I walked all the way around to this other side of the map over here because I wanted to be able to fish beside this little landmass right here to try to target some of the other fish I need for the missions. And it kind of worked. It kind of worked. So I'm going to walk back around there. It's going to take me a little minute, but I'm going to walk back around. Okay. I have to send you a link or something. Next time we on here, I'll pull it up and I'll uh I send you a link to it. Let's see, sinking boiler six inch. Mm. I don't think I even have those. I don't think I have those. But yeah, that's what's up, go. I said I check you later. Let me know what you uh let me know how it's looking. I was looking at a little bit of footage of some people that put up before I got on the stream, but yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna fish there. I'm just going around to this other side. For some reason, when I was fishing over here, I was getting like a ton of hits versus when I did it from that side. And if I have to, I just warp back over there. We'll walk back over. All 
Uh, let's see. Who was on PS4? Anyone? Fishing Planet Laggy at Weeping Willow. Yeah, I came around this side so I could fish close to that and fish closer to this other one. And I did find like the uh, pression carp, the perch. There were a few of them that I located. But for whatever reason, when I was casting from this side, like I was having a lot of success. Uh, I think it was right there. Is it this one or that one? Yeah, it was right here. And it's just as much distance in between both. I do not know why this thing was hitting the way it was hitting. But it was hitting. We'll go ahead and fast forward just a bit. It's one of them, the first spawns you come in, and anywhere in this deep, you're going to get good catches. This one, too, if you walk over here, you spawn in here or here. These two, this I call the uni ghost right there. Um, It's some uni somethings in here. A lot of trophies. Trophy whales, catfish. Trophy mirror, trophy common. I caught a trophy grass somewhere too. I ain't sure what that's at. But yeah, you spawn in here. You can cast right here into it. But again, for some reason, I was casting from this side. And like I threw by this little body. Caught the young common bream. Trophy pression. The perch. And the rest of these are a lot of commons and things of that nature. Oh, caught that unique leather carp right there. Trophy mirror. I didn't mark all of my unis. I missed a couple of them. Or oh, the ride was going off. Uh, a different ride. That's the yours was lagging. You restarted the app. It's good now. Okay, cool. All kinds of six inch sinking boilers hit hard. Okay, six inch sinking boilers. Are these something I can buy here? Is that an actual uh let's see, boilers, boilers? Okay, I had a few, if that's what you're talking about right there. All right, again, for whatever reason, when I was casting out from this way, I was getting some good activity. Bam, so we going for it again. I got this large minnow on there. I probably could catch a whale's catfish, but I'm going to uh, put the corn back on here. See what we can catch us. Uh, just got jump scared by a huge puff of fish while looking for a glyph. <laughs> 
Yeah, right. I mean, I really could put a different type of bait on here to try to get that F1. I feel like I caught one. I caught one F1. I don't even remember where I was at, like which part of these lakes I was at, but I feel like I caught one. Let's see. Red worms. Let me look again. Red worms, blood worms, semolina. Red worms. Let's try blood worms. I think I was fishing with blood worms. I kept catching perch. Uh, perch. Red worms, blood worms, semolina. We'll see what it do. Let's see the fish meat and strawberry ones. Oh, got a hit, got a hit. Think you have 14 odd cap and hooks. You get more union trophy. Look, I told you, for whatever reason, when I throw from this side, I don't know what the difference is. I fished over here for a minute and was, you know, catching regularly. Not every single time, but regularly catching trophies, unis. I went over there to the other side by the tree and threw in the exact same spot at the exact same markers, and I just was not catching as much. I do not know why. Look at that. This was starting to go off. I have no idea why. This should be a trophy. He might be a heavy regular, though. Yeah, heavy regular. All right. Bam. They getting some activity. They getting some activity. Yeah, I had to invest in some of those hooks. I ain't got the 14 ops right now, but I had to invest in some of those. What you gonna do with it? They are playing. Uh, all right, I'm going to throw this out here. See if this Semolina ball do anything. Ah, oh, no, not two of them. Not two of them. Let's go. What you doing first? Okay. It's a good size. It's a good size one. Oh, nah, he coming in kind of easy. He coming in kind of easy. Let's see what this other one is feeling like. Oh, he coming in very easy. Very easy. So we'll go back to this one. He's a little heavier, so he's going to be priority. We'll reel him in a little longer. And then we'll jump back. Get him a few reels just to get him in about 20. Let's go on back. Yeah, that other one got off. I don't care. He'll be all right. <laughs> He'll be all right. See, this another ghost. Nice. Got us a trophy ghost. Nice, nice, nice. Again, these are not the biggest. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go.
Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, when they get active, they get active. All right, come on. Let me get one more. Oh, oh, I got a hit on this one. Let's see. Is it going to move, though? We got the ding. Ready do I get that ding? Let's see if it actually takes it, though. The ding is just stage one. It ain't doing that. That might be a carp, though. That really could be. It could be a perch, but just the fact that it hit it and didn't do anything made me feel like that might be a carp. That could be our hybrid. That could be our hybrid. We need him to come back, though. Uh, let's see. Where on the map am I fishing? It's the... It's the first spine. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I'll show you. Let me reel one of these in. Whichever one go off, I'll reel it in and I'll show you the map. But it's the main one with the with like the little U, the U shape. Oh, I felt it vibrate. Go ahead, take it. Come on, F1 hybrid. Come on, F1 hybrid. Come on, F1 hybrid. Okay. Yeah, and if you spawn in the center of that U shape, you'll be across where I, across by that house. But I walked all the way around to the outside, so I'm facing the inner part of the U. I'm on the outside of the U. I'm right here on the U, facing back in. And I really did it just like I say, thinking about fishing towards these little island patches trying to catch some of the other fish for like the exploration. But it turned out to like work out that the spots were hitting for some reason. Ah, that reflection is funky. That reflection is funky. See that thing moving. It's something nibbling on it, man. How long you gonna take? Go ahead and get it. It's moving. I feel my controller vibrating, but it's just playing with it. It's just playing with it. I'm waiting for you to strike. Go ahead and strike. Let's see uh, the right spot where you at, where you caught it. Okay. Now, what were you using, though? Were you using a feeder? A feeder, a carp, or, you know, bottom ride when I say feeder? Or were you using a match like I'm using? See, it just dinged again. All right, it's the second time. Now, what you going to do? What you going to do? Oh, it dinged again. That's two quick ones back to back. Oh, that's three. That's three. What you going to do? This fish wanted, but he playing. Oh, you got to be so patient, man. Oh, you got to be patient. I need, uh, I feel it. I feel him like he is nibbling. I just felt it. 
And I don't want one of these other rides to go off and then I got to put the ride down and it scares the fish or something while it's doing that movement. Look, there you go. There you go. Yeah, man, these carp are a trip. I'm going to go ahead and do the 30 days just because I'm here. I've been here all this time. I'm going to go ahead and get it. But if it wasn't for that, I would go ahead and dip and go somewhere else. Let's see, using a carp ride with strawberry boilers, six inch sinking. No feed. All right, I had to check out the strawberry. I tried it out, man. See if it has better, uh, a better bite ratio. There it is. It just dinged again, man. They playing. I guess the fish got to hit on your line like 10 times before it actually takes it. Asleep, you see, you're getting off No Man's Sky. All you got to do is find a portal now. Nice, nice. Oh, man. My hook might be too big. Maybe that's maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's trying, but the hook is too big. This four, I, I need to go down to like a one or something. Because the F1 hybrid is kind of small. He's not as big as the other carp. So maybe it's this four aught hook. Jim, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I might have to try a smaller hook. I didn't want to go too small because I'm trying to get this unique uh, F1 hybrid. But again, I don't think they get that big. So this 4 I might be too big. Fada, hey, hello, hello, how you doing, how you doing, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. Nah, I'm not going to leave, I'm going to go ahead and stay, even if I got to just fast forward through. I've been making enough to, you know. Well, I should be able to cover the cost of all of the days and the repairs that's going to come. You know, you do them 30 days, then repairs. Those repairs always come. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Been a good day. Been a good day. We've been having a good stream tonight. Yeah, it's been a good day. Uh, for F1, use a number one hook and blood worms. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch this up. And it's, this one has been getting hits. I got three feeders, you know, a bottom. I got... It's two bottoms and a cart. And I've just been getting some hits on this ride with this Semolina, but the I could tell that the hook, or I was starting to figure that the hook was too big. I'm still trying to catch some carp just to make that money, but I'm going to put it on these.
Let's see, number one, and it's octopus. My man always was talking about the octopus. Let's see, we'll do blood worms on that one. That one's on the stand, so I'm gonna take this other one off. So this is my floaty right here. Farrah, you say you in Romania, it's 5.44 p.m. Oh, okay, cool. So it's it's evening. How's life treating you in Romania? Shout out to Romania. I'm going to try both of these floats. I figure it should hit one of these floats at least. Okay, I already had blood worms on this one, but the hook just still too big. I probably could take this leader off too. Uh, this is my 55. Let's see, do I got room? 157. That's good, good. Glad to hear that. Yeah, this leader probably is scaring them away a bit. I'm going to do semolinas on that one. Just for some variety. And this one here. I'm going to do one feeder to go for that carp. One feeder. We're going to break him down. Put the number one on there. We got corn still on there. I'll go with blood worms since my man suggested blood worms. I throw this one right in between my spots. And it cast it to the right. All right, these other ones, I'm just picking them up just to go on and get them out the water. Do a recast. A lot of times you got to do a recast. Uh-oh, something going, something going. Something going. Hey, get the uh get the ride. What are we doing here? Ah, oh man, I thought it had stopped. I was about to say. I was about to say. This a brim. Common brim. That's all right, though. At least we got that hit. We got that hit. We got that hit. Let's see. Uh, Tech. What screen capture and video editing software do you use? Anything for free or low cost? Uh, Yeah. Ah, oh, man. That one was hitting in my hand. I didn't even realize that I was already putting it down. Let's see what this is. Yeah, um, if you screen capture free, use OBS. Uh, everybody use OBS. It's good money. It's free, and it does a lot. There's a lot you can do with OBS when you start adding plugins and let's see, common brim, okay, um, and and all of the extra features. Like OBS is dope. I actually um, we had paid software paid streaming stuff like we were using it you at know, my job. I had to introduce OBS when some of that stuff wasn't working right. All right, Young Common Brand. We just getting brim right here right now. So use OBS if you need a free editing software. There are some simpler ones, um, but if you want like a, if your computer is decent 
and you want one that's comparable to like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut, you can get DaVinci Resolve. Uh, DaVinci is what I use. I used to edit in Adobe Premiere. I was using that for a long time. But, you know, as they started to do the cloud, the CCs, trying to overcharge people. Because, you know, I used to buy my Adobe straight out with, you know, the whole suite, Photoshop, everything. You know, you in school, especially when I was in school, you can get a discount on the older ones. And then, you know, if you want to just buy it and pay for it, you can own it. But, um, you know how it is, the greed levels rise, the, bi the, the business models. Let me not say that. The business models change, we'll say. And they have they business model change. So if you try to venture resolve, it's a good program. It's free. And it's like it is a studio quality editing. The I bought the pro one just because I like it so much. And just because I was tired of, like I say, how Adobe was acting. I still use Adobe at work though. And I still use Photoshop, but yeah. That's a free video. There are some other free ones out there. That might even be simpler um, because DaVinci got a learning curve. Again, it's, it's very much like uh, Premiere or Final Cut. It does have a learning curve. So, yeah, no. Got to get my feeders out here. They all went back into the inventory. All right, let's see if we get any of these guys. Starting to wind down. I'm going to try to catch one more or something. I don't know if this F1 going to happen or not tonight. But I'm trying to catch me one more or something, guys. Oh, oh is that one for real? No, nah, it's not for real. It's not for real. Yeah, man. So uh, make sure you hit that like button, guys. If you've been here, if you've been hanging out, you've been enjoying, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Follow all that good stuff. Yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a good stream, man. You know, I hope everything is good. Everything is well with you this weekend. Hope the families are healthy. Everybody's safe. Y'all get to chill and relax. Let's see. Oh, we got one more day. Look, I, I got my most of my Friday work done, so I feel like it's Friday, like I'm finna move into Saturday. We got one more day uh, for the end of the week. But, yeah, I might get on the stream tomorrow. If I stream tomorrow, uh, so I got most of my work done. I might do something early. I kind of want to stream car mechanic, and I've had some people ask me about that. One of my car mechanic videos is doing really good. It's a, a like a money tutorial. A lot of people are watching it. So I actually had some people ask me about streaming it or they saw the stream I did. So I might stream that tomorrow just to switch it up. But we'll see. I might do two streams again. You know, who knows? Who knows? Hey, Farrah, thank you for the subscription. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Uh, let's see. It's going to be another brand. Uh, Perch. Get out of here, Perch. Get out of here, Perch. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, guys. Oh, uh, uh, we, we getting a beep. Hey, appreciate that subscription, Farrah. Appreciate that. 
Big dog. Good looking out. Good looking out. Make sure you uh you know look for the notifications and stuff. Again, I do stream regularly, and we really have a good time in here chatting and and all the guys help me out. You know all my people's help. All the fam give input on spots and everything, man. So we always have a good time with the stream. And if you fish, you know, peeps can give you input on your different spots and everything. Hey, what's up, Lucas? I'm at Weeping Willow. This one, with the way the weight is, might be more than a brim. I'm hoping to catch one of them F1s. Nah, it's just brim. All brim right there. Young Common, okay. I mean, that's a bigger one. But yeah, I'm fishing Weeping Willows. Right here at this spot right here. I'm going to show you uh, my map real quick. Bam, all kind of fish all over the place right here. Trophy leather, trophy common, trophy grass. I've caught a few uni grasses too. Uni carp, uni leather, trophy mirror. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, Brock. Have a good one. Yeah, I see you in the Discord later on. Yeah, guys, we're going to go on and wrap it up, man. Again, it's been a good one, been a great day. Hope everybody has a good Friday tomorrow. If it's already Friday, ah, oh, here we go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. The, the gang love to do this. It's almost like you hear me signing off. And the fish want to start biting. Nah, this is another brim. Oh, it's a perch. Get out of here, perch. Get out of here. Yeah, we going to reel these joints in. But yeah, Brock, check you later on, man. And again, everybody, I hope y'all have a great uh, start to your weekend, man. It's Friday. Um, but I appreciate everybody being here. Salute to the Elite Fam. Salute to the members. Thank you to all my members who have been supporting and showing love that way. Uh, thank you to my Patreons. Thank you to my people who super chatted and everything, man. Really, really appreciate all the support. Shout out to JC tonight. Um, Yeah. Really, really appreciate everybody being here, man. Always enjoy the streams, guys. Always enjoy the streams. So, again, come back through. Look out for that notification. Like before we get out of here. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, we'll do this again later, guys. All right? So, I'm going to get up out of here. Charles Macro, Fishing Planet. Thank you guys for stopping through. Salute to the Elite Fam. Mahalo, y'all, on the later on. Hey.